Welcome to another GibbsCam version 14 video. Today we're going to show you an updated uh, video of corner rounders, chamfer tools, and custom tools. As you can see here, I have three parts here. And if I bring up my coordinate system, you can see this is my first vise, second vise, and third vise, or part. They have, um, of course, this is going to be Z0. And I have uh, this block down at minus two inches. And what we want to do is you want to chamfer the first one on the top here as well as down here. Second one we want to do a corner rounder. Third one we want to do a custom tool. So my first tool is going to be a chamfer tool. Um, just countersink. You can use countersink or uh, uh, spot drill if you'd like. Uh, countersink you have to fill in a little more detail but this is a sharp point on there. Second tool is going to be a corner rounder, half inch shank, three quarter inch OD, and a quarter inch uh, radius on the fillet there. And last tool is going to be custom tool. We're going to show you how to do that here in a second. So let's go right to that. So let's just go to top view. I'm going to turn off my solids and hide everything and let's go to my custom tool so the thing with making a custom tool is it can't be a closed shape and the very first point needs to end up at x0 y0 and basically z0 and uh, you can draw this on uh, your coordinate system the main one here so as you can see i, I drew my shape here you can draw the shank if you want uh, even the tool holder if you'd like but just make sure this end point and this end point uh, goes back to zero when you draw it. Now when you make the custom tool it says apply so just double click your shape click apply and there's your custom tool and you can see there it is there's the shape right there. Okay let's go back to our parts and let's go back to our geometry on the part. So the first thing I want to do is chamfer this uh, part here and down here at minus two inches. So I'm going to turn on my cam palette and you just want to create a contour with the chamfer tool. And I'm going to go down. Now since it's a half inch chamfer tool I only have a quarter inch to play with here. So if I go past a quarter inch deep I'm up here on the side which I don't want to do, but I don't want to cut with the tip so much because that usually leaves uh, not a good a fin as good a finish as it would uh, if it was closer to the shank. So I'm going to say minus 200 thou. So it's going to give is going to force the tool 200 thou deep on this surface, and this surface is zero here. So I'm going to first put zero here and basically say don't take any material. click on do it and let's do cut part rendering and I'm just going to single step it through here and we'll go to a side view here and as you can see it didn't chamfer any material Gibbs knew that at 200 thou deep this is where the tool is going to hit right here so Gibbs cal calculates the offset for the tool based on that now if I show you, um, if I go to my one of my other work groups here, these tool side view here, and let's bring up the coordinate system for that palette there. Okay, as you can see, if I turn on my dimensions there, you can see at 200 thou deep, it's over, uh, not quite half inch uh, over there. If I was to dimension that, can see that's uh, actually it's um, one inch from there. Let's di let's dimension it from the actual point there. We'll get rid of that one. Okay, it's two hundred thou from the uh, zero point of the tool, the center of the tool. And of course, since it's 45 degrees, it's going to be 200 thou down. So Gibbs knows that already. So it's looking at 
the geometry that you have on the top there as well as geometry of the tool and since I said don't force it into the material it's going to stay right at that edge so that's why when you do cut part rendering it's not cutting anything so let's say my print calls out for let's bring this back up again let's say my print calls out for a 50 thou chamfer on here so notice this stock says plus or minus if I uh, put a positive in there it will leave stock if I put a negative 50 thou and redo that now it's forcing it into the material by 200 by uh, 50 thou so let's do cut part render and as you can see let's single step it through and let's go to the side view again and as you can see at this point the tool was touching this point and I said force it into the material by 50 thou so that's exactly what it did now if I change that to say I want to go an eighth of an inch change that cut part render and you can see now we have an eighth of an inch chamfer now the same thing applies when we're going deeper so in this case let's say the material alt click is two inches deep so this time I'm going to go minus 2.2 We'll give it an eighth of an inch chamfer as well. And do it. And you can see it cut a nice eighth inch chamfer on the part. Okay, let's go to the corner rounder next. This time we're going to use uh, number two vise. Okay. and again the geometry or the materials at zero and I'm gonna go exactly quarter inch deep and I'm gonna put zero there okay so let's cut around this one okay let's cut part render that we'll move over to this coordinate system while we're at it just to, so everything's nice and blue there and we'll single step it through as you can see if I go to the side view you can see at a quarter inch deep Gibbs knows the diameter of the tool is three quarter inch so it's looking at the geometry if this was geometry and our part there you can see it's not forcing it in it's it's touching right there so what I want to do if I want a quarter inch fill it in there I'm gonna say force it into the material by quarter inch turn off our render run it again and we have a nice quarter inch round fill it on that part there Now if I was to not go quite that deep, only 200 thou, run this again, you're going to see, let's rewind, you're going to see it forced it into the material because Gibbs was looking at what the depth was at 200 thou which wasn't quite a quarter inch and then we force it into the material another quarter inch so that's why it looks like that so it's looking at the tool like it was geometry so we put that back to quarter inch run it again we have a nice fillet there now let's do the same thing for the bottom there let's put in minus two inch and minus two and a quarter leave this the same highlight both these two just run that tool path and you can see we have a nice corner rounder on that one as well now the last one we want to do is the uh, custom tool 
And this time I'm going to go minus 2 inch because we want to cut the hole outside of this. We don't need to do anything at the top. So I'm going to go uh, depth wise 2 inch. This needs to be 0, not 2 inch, sorry. And I'm going to force it. So at 2 inches, gives us looking at the, the tool at 2 inches deep. Let's go back to that custom tool. And let's go to the side view on here. So at 2 inches, Gibbs is looking at the tool somewhere up in this range here. So if I said stay away from the geometry at the top by 10 thou, it's going to keep this away from the part by 10 thou. So let's run that one. Let's go back a little bit. Let's turn back to our parts there. Let's go to that coordinate system on our cam. We have tool number three there. Let's say third vice there. And I'm going to stay away 10 thou from there. We're going to do that. Okay, let's go to the simulation. Adjust that tool. Kind of single step it through. Actually, I need to go, sorry. Minus 2, not point 0.2. And single step it through. You can see, go to side view here. You can see I have a 10 thou, hard to see there, but you see I have a 10 thou gap there. Because at 2 inches deep, which is right here, it's looking at the tool as if it was geometry. And I said stay away 10 thou, so it took this geometry, moved it 10 thou away from here, and cut our part. The rest of this, of course, uh, was forced into the part. So you can see, and just back off, back off. Don't forget to put in your entry and exits in there, otherwise it's going to pull straight up. But that's how you uh, do corner rounders, chamfers, and custom tools. We'll run through them all once again. Chamfer. Yeah, for a corner rounder, corner rounder, and custom tool. Hope this helps with calculating out how to use those these tools. Thank you for watching.